Howdy fellow cats, welcome back to another video. Today we're playing Black Side Zeta once again, and we actually had something called a mini update. For this update, we had map changes. The maintenance tunnel area has been completely reworked. The heist area has been completely reworked. It now includes multiple different entry points and no longer follows a linear curved hallway design. There are now bathrooms located in Sector 2. Facility director changes. There is now a new button on the tablet called Override Turret. When pressed, if its cooldown is not active and a turret is near you, that turret will temporarily have its damage buffed. Hostile forces changes. The helmet used for night vision has been replaced with the helmet the team would normally use. That was weird, a little bit weird. My apologies. The team now has a gadget vendor, which who currently sells some thermal goggles. You can find them in the maintenance tunnels. The team now has the ability to deploy to the facility via a helicopter drop off. Requires a minimum of one to four people, depending on how many players are on the team. Medical staff changes added a placeable medical turret which heals nearby allies which you unlock at the doctor rank. We have miscellaneous changes as well which is lighting has been overhauled which they reverted. O overall shadow cast amount has been reduced by 3000 plus. Implemented a day night cycle. Skybox has been changed. Removed the vending machine in the patient housing viewing room. Switched to shadow map lighting which again I think that they may have reverted. The lighting stuff has been kind of confusing. Light models will now properly react to blackouts. All voice lines have been replaced. Automatic doors now stay open if anyone is stood near them. Night vision and thermal vision handling has been optimized better. Name tags stacking around the bin in patient housing has been fixed. Supply crate gear has been buffed. Changed missile strike and missile log music. Made missile strike events last longer. Moved patient housing vent to sector 3's entrance. Changed some of game loading logic. Halved presence reduction modules price. And the reason why they halved the PRM's price is because they gave the HF thermal goggles which lets them see the people who are wearing PRM. VIP server changes which was pretty significant. There is now a shirt and pants command which can be used to change the player specified shirt or pants to the ID specified. There's a break all and fix all command which breaks or fixes all the interactables, power boxes, electrical grids, etc. And you can toggle breakable glass, teleport nodes which is a command which lists all nodes you can teleport to. There's a node teleport command which lets you teleport to these nodes. You can also change the ragdoll knockback and the ragdoll respawn time. And that was all we had for the mini update. Although they also added one little new thing as well that you guys can try out in your own private servers, which is a no teleport me shooting range. It teleports you to a shooting range where you can test out your aim or whatever you want there. Anyways, there's a heist in the server. We're playing as SRS. I kind of just want to be a gamer right now. It's been a little while since I last played on the good guy team, let alone uh, SRS. So that's what we're doing for this video today. Hopefully you guys will be able to see what the new heist also looks like in the process of all of this. I guess I'll try to go up one and then drop down to see what happens. Also, I'm using Desperado. I don't know if I want to use Desperado for this team. It might be good though. I saw that patient. Come back here, boy. Goodbye. I feel like the only thing that I wouldn't like with Desperado on the SRS team is maybe like the healing issue because uh, I, I need I need health. It kind of looks like they didn't revert all the lighting changes. So some of them stayed the same. Just know that there was a little change to lighting. You already know I got to get myself the shotgun and the M4 SOT mod. I do like the lighting changes though because it did genuinely make the game look prettier. So that's always good. I love it when my game looks pretty. Although my concern for lighting changes will always and forever be the frames per second changes. As you guys can see, this is the new heist layout now, which is really interesting if you ask me. I don't know enough about this new layout, so uh, I might be pretty bad. I think there might be HF on the other side of this. I could be wrong though. Oh, hello. Okay, well, that's one patient down. I don't know where all the other people are coming from or where they're going. But this is not an area that I should be in, probably. I think we're actually going to be losing this heist. I don't know how balanced the heist event is now, if it is even balanced. I'm just, I, I don't know what to think. Oh, the music did the good old crescendo or whatever you want to call it. I don't know anything about music, so. But the vault's open now, which is not great. Let me know what you guys think about this update. And let me know if you guys feel it's balanced or not. Because I, I can't tell, honestly. I would assume that it feels a lot more balanced. It kind of already does to me personally. But I don't know how everyone else is uh, feeling about it. All right, let's beam them. Get in there, gamers. Come on, security. 
Okay, I think I think we lost. This was this is looks like a genuine L right here. Speaking of which, did they unlock the rogue perk finally? Nope, unfortunately not. It's not like I had enough credits for it anyways. Okay, so I'll just keep grinding up credits for that purpose, I suppose. Excuse you. That's not very nice. I don't know. I feel like this new layout for the entirety of uh, the highest event, it feels really nice now. It feels balanced, and the heist is over. Okay, well, we took the L. You know, I would be more upset about it if I wasn't sitting in the spawn the, uh, half the time reading about the update, so uh, I'm, I'm okay right now. <laughs> I gotta say that when I saw this update drop, I was really excited. I checked it out a little bit with a moderator in the game known as Base Entertainment, and uh, it was actually really fun. Other than the fact that they didn't revert the light changes then, so the frames per second that I was having was drastically worse than what it is right now. So I'm glad that they reverted some of those changes to help out the performance of the game. But oh yeah, I, I'm i very happy about this update. I hope that you guys are as well. Let me know your guys' opinions in the comments because I really am curious to hear about how you guys have been experiencing this whole update. Speaking of which, now there's shirts and pants. Uh, maybe there's going to be some serious roleplay factions in uh, in the game, which would be pretty interesting. Oh, we have the uh, restrooms that I forgot about, which is male and female here. I, I never saw this yet. You can interact with the doors and stuff. Oh. <laughs> oh. Wait, can I? Okay, so if I hold E, it just makes me sit. All right, makes sense. All right, time to check out the females' bathroom too, because I wanted to see if they're different or not. It doesn't seem like they're any different. I would expect the males to have like urinals, but I guess they don't. I forgot that they also changed the voice lines of all this stuff as well, so that was really weird to hear it be different. We're gonna go see if they change anything else in the facility side of things, but not necessarily check the. Uh, oh, hello, how you doing? I, I, I would have, I, sh okay, I should have expected that. We're gonna switch to HF though real fast, so that way we can talk about and show this off real quick too. Here we have our beautiful helicopter entrance that we can go into if we wanted to, but uh, I'm not gonna do that quite yet. We also have our hostile vendor guy right here. Obviously gotta get my shotgun. I know that I said we're gonna be SRS gaming, and we did for a little while, and we might switch back to the team depending on how long this video lasts. But here we have the maintenance tunnels, which have been revamped entirely. And the vendor, you go left from the spawn, and then right around this corner, you find this guy. I don't know why they made him disappear like that and then reappear like that. Maybe this guy is just too cool for us, and uh, that might just be it. We're going to go ahead and get the thermal goggles, though. That way I can show off these as well. Last time I played with the thermal goggles, because of the lighting thing, it also felt that when I put on the, uh, when I turned on the thermal goggles, that it felt like things were really bad. But I, I don't know. Maybe they, that, maybe the lighting thing also fixed the, uh, frames that you get from this as well. Yeah, it feels really smooth. It feels a lot more smooth than what it once was. I can see that person through the wall like a boss. Also, they said that they, uh, made it so where you have a helmet now. And as you guys can see, I have a HF helmet now, which looks a pretty smooth sick if you ask me what i think would be more sick though is uh since they have shirts and pants now is uh something to do with factions that'd be pretty cool all right you know what i'm just gonna spawn a camp got my thermal goggles on and now we're spawn camping like a boss That guy has so much armor that it's so hard to see that he has any sort of thermal on him. That's crazy. The SRS is that armored. Oh, hey, look. So we have people that are trying to take the helicopter, which I really want to do, obviously. So we're going to go ahead and get myself another shotgun if possible. And then we're going to go in and head back over here and wait for the helicopter. All right. So uh, now it looks like uh, we got, are going to be going through the helicopter. <laughs> and I just got noticed. All right. <laughs> What's up, Noah? I saw you in game. Don't worry, I saw your username. This is the helicopter entrance, and it takes us directly to the patient housing. I don't think it has anything special, although I think it gives you spawn protection in this area in the patient housing. And then you also can just kind of rush out with multiple players accompanying you. So if you ask me, it's really, really sick. <laughs> Thank you, Noah, for being uh, subscribed to me. I appreciate you. All right, so it looks like we're actually pushed up quite far. So uh, I guess we're going to keep doing... What we're doing and pushing them back all right well while they're shooting each other right there i'm just gonna run this way oh this is a different style door i wonder why they changed that that's interesting PRMY! i didn't have my thermal now that i think about it it goes from six thousand credits to three thousand credits for the presence reduction module outfit now i i could get that wrong but i believe it's three thousand credits now so if you guys want to try out presence reduction module now now is the time to do it now is the time to get it 
I also think that the new voice lines, like, on the announcements are a lot cooler than what it was before, so, uh, I'm, I'm really liking it. Really, really liking it. Anyways, that's going to be it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed as much as I enjoyed making this video for you guys. If you guys want to see more content like this one, you guys can leave a like or a comment down below. If you guys want to see more content from me in general, you guys can subscribe. And if you guys want to get notified for when I do anything on this channel, you guys can hit the notification bell. Don't forget to check out my Roblox group and community discord server in the description below. And I want to give a huge shout out to my channel members, especially my son and Nikos. Thank you guys so very much. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!